today's lesson, we're going to go beyond the docs and we're going to be using gsap utils.wrap to wrap through an array of values. This is going to give us cool effects like this text zipper effect where you'll see the text is coming in from top and bottom as it alternates. We're also going to then be able to apply a pattern of colors to each letter. And we can also split the word up into groups of three without doing any fancy DOM manipulations, algorithms, conditional logic, or any of that. Just three simple tweens is gonna get us all of this animation. Let's check it out. All right, so in our starter file, we have a basic staggered animation set up. We have dev tools enabled so we can scrub back and forth. And basically, we just have a staggered animation on some split text where character by character, it's fading in and dropping down. In the HTML, we have a wrapper element and we have a heading one tag. In the CSS, um, I wanna point out that our wrapper is going to have visibility hidden, okay? Um, since we're fading this text in, we don't want it to display until the page is loaded, all right? Um, and we're gonna use some JavaScript to set this wrapper's visibility to visible. Over in our JavaScript, to handle that, um, we have our load event listener set up. So we're gonna run an init function which is going to basically just tell that wrapper to set its auto alpha to one. Uh, we discussed all this in GSAP3 Express in our flash of unstyled content lesson, all right? So once the page is loaded, we can display things the way we want. We're using a split text to split that heading one into characters. I'm going to reference the characters array using this cars variable referencing split.cars. Again, GSAP3 Express, we go over all of this and we have this GSAP timeline, which we're referring to as animation. All right, the tween we have set up is telling us that we're going to animate the characters from a Y of negative 100, an opacity of zero, and we're going to have a stagger object saying that each animation is gonna have 0 0.05 seconds between it. And that's what gives us exactly what we just saw. The letters are going to fade and drop in when everything is all set up and ready to go. Now the purpose of this lesson is to show you how I can have the text come in from alternating directions, all right? Um, there's a GSAP utility function called wrap, which is going to do this for us. So instead of hard coding that single Y of negative 100 there, I'm gonna say gsap.utils.wrap. Now this function here is going to allow us to pass in an array of values that we're going to wrap or cycle through. So I'm just going to say that the first value is gonna be negative 100 and the second value is going to be 100. So the first character comes in from negative 100, the second from 100, and the third is gonna wrap back to negative 100. So with just that little change, check this out, voila! There we go, we have the text animating in from top and bottom every other character. All right, I didn't have to write some conditional logic, I didn't have to do a modulo operator or anything crazy. Um, we just wrap through those array values. Um, we can do the same thing for something like rotation to make it a little interesting. I'll say gsap.utils.wrap and our array will be something like negative 100 degrees and 100 degrees. Let me put my little comma in there. And now when I run, we're gonna get this really cool kind of like zipper effect, I call it, all right? Check that out. Everything sort of comes in like a zipper coming together. Uh, try doing that any other way. If I want these things to animate in from center, eh, you know, what do I do? I'm using a stagger object. So again, this is all review from other lessons. I'm gonna set my from value to be center. So no funky algorithms, no funky code. It's all basic GSAP stuff. And so what do we have now? From the center, we're sort of doing a double zipper out to the ends, all right? So let's call this the double zipper effect. Boom, pretty cool. So it's important to note that all of this is literally one tween, which is one line of code. The flexibility is nuts. The cool thing about this is that we can do more than just two values in our array. Let's mess with the colors. I'm gonna say dot two, the target's going to be our cars or characters again. And for color, I'm going to say gsap.utils.wrap. 
And our array now is gonna be a little bit more elaborate. So let's just do something like uh, pink and then we'll do yellow and then we'll put in some aqua. Let's run. Awesome, check that out. We now have this alternating rainbow text there. Really cool. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is have these things split vertically three characters at a time. How are we gonna do that? Well, let me show you. Let's do a dot two tween here. I'm gonna say cars, and then for the Y value, again, we'll say gsap.utils.wrap, and now my array, check this out, minus 50, minus 50, minus 50, 50, 50, and 50. So, for the first three characters are going to go up, and the next three characters are going to go down. Can it really be that simple? Let's run. Check it out. Aha, there we go. We have the double zipper effect. We have a rainbow pattern effect and we have the three character split. We did not do anything crazy with the DOM. I didn't write any algorithms. I didn't use any conditional logic. It's just this very powerful gsap.utils.wrap function. Now before I go, I just wanna clean up this code a little bit, all right? Um, instead of having these chunky arrays here in our code, what I can do is create variable references for them up here. So I could just do a let, and I'm gonna say something like start y equals, and then I'm gonna take all of this out and we'll do a little bit of a paste here. And then the value here is going to be start y. You don't need to see me do this for all of them, so let me go into hyperspeed mode. All right, I'm back. So here you'll see we have start y, rotation, colors, and end y, and we're pointing to these functions here. Now it's important to remember way back I had a lesson on function-based values, okay? So what we're doing here is we're literally passing in a function as what the y value will be, and gsap.utils.wrap is going to pass the index in here to figure out what value from the array it's going to pull out. So I have all my gsap.utils.wrap functions up here, and then in my animation code, it's really nice and clean, all right? So this is one of my most fun features of GSAP3. I'd encourage you to check out the GSAP3 docs. And on the utilities page, you're going to see uh, something, where is it, all the way down here, wrap. So if you wanna read more about that, you click on wrap, and there you will have more technical explanations of how it works. Now you may be seeing here, whoa, what's that? Wrap Yo-Yo. Let me explain that real quick. What Wrap Yo-Yo is going to do is go one, two, three through the array and then Yo-Yo back to one, okay? So for the colors here, let me just change this over to Wrap Yo-Yo. And what we're gonna get is pink, yellow, aqua, yellow, pink. All right, so let's, instead of right now, we have pink, yellow, aqua, pink, yellow, aqua, blah, blah. I think you get it. Let's run and let's see, will it work? There we go. So we have pink, yellow, aqua, then back to yellow, pink, and then we start with yellow, aqua, pink, and you get a little bit of a different setup, all right? so. I don't know if you're ever going to need to break words into groups of three like this, but I just wanted to show you how powerful and cool these methods were, all right? I love doing the quick double zipper effect, being able to alternate the colors is cool, and then you have this three letter split as just a little bonus to make people's heads spin. So have some fun with rap and let me see what you create. If you enjoyed this video, check out my Creative Coding Club course bundle. You'll get instant access to tons of videos and demos to help you master the GreenSock animation platform. New content is added every week to keep your learning fresh and exciting. Watch this video below to learn more. I have tons of free videos on my channel too, so be sure to subscribe to stay in the loop. Thanks for watching.